Hello everyone, this is Rachel live from Calkine Studios in Sydney and you're watching The Early Trades. Now the Australian share market did open lower, weighed by losses from Magellan and the ANZ. The S&P SX200 index was down 0.7%. Magellan Financial Group was down 7.1% and that was after Chairman Hamish Douglas announced he was taking a medical leave of absence. ANZ shares were trading 4% lower and that was after they unveiled weaker margins in their quarterly update. Unibail Rodemco Westfield, their shares were down 4.8% so far this morning. Grain Corp was trading at 12.6% higher and that was after providing strong earnings guidance. James Hardy Industries, their shares are currently up 6.4% after they upgraded their guidance and reported a strong third quarter result. Simic Group's UGL has been named as the principal contractor by Snowy Hydro for the construction of a 660 megawatt power generation plant at the Hunter Power Project in Curry Curry in New South Wales. The contract will generate revenue to UGL of $185 million over a two-year period. The power generation plant will consist of two heavy-duty F-class gas turbine generators and the related auxiliaries which operate using dual fuel sources, including provision to operate on a hydrogen fuel mix. Moving on, and the Star Entertainment Group will release its first half of financial year 2022 results on the 17th of February. As previously disclosed, first half financial year 2022 earnings have been materially impacted by COVID-19 related property shutdowns, also operating restrictions and of course border closures. The Star Sydney, which was closed from the start of the period to the 11th of October 2021, recorded strong revenue growth upon reopening, with revenue up 29% on the prior corresponding period from the 11th of October to the 31st of December 2021. Queensland Casino's total revenue was stable despite border closures and COVID-19 related operating restrictions. Moving on, an ANZ a banking group suffered group net interest margin deterioration of eight basis points over the first quarter, or five basis points on an underlying basis. The bank attributed the decline to a lower exit rate at the full year and also a continuation of the structural headwinds impacting the sector. Over the second quarter, ANZ expects these headwinds to be moderate, specifically the result of rising interest rates in New Zealand and changes in deposit pricing. And Grain Corp expects to report financial year 2022 underlying EBITDA in the range of $480 to $540 million and financial year 2022 underlying MPAT of $235 to $280 million. Grain Corp's earnings guidance is subject to several market variables as outlined in the conclusions. Silver Lake Resources has announced the board has approved an on-market share buyback for up to 10% of Silver Lake's ordinary shares over the next 12 months. Silver Lake's strong organically generated balance sheet and forecast-free cash flow generation provides a flexibility to consider value accretion, capital management initiatives. Under Silver Lake's capital allocation framework, the company considers capital management and uses for excess capital after allocating and reserving funds to sustain operations through the gold price cycle and internally fund investment in projects and exploration to maximize the value of its existing operations, projects and tenement holdings. Well, that's all from me for the early trades, but stay tuned to Calkine TV. We've got many more shows lined up for you across the economy, markets and sectors. This is Rachel signing off for now.